Hey, hey y'all, how's everyone tonight? Welcome. Can you hear me okay? I was messing around. I was hoping to have a wireless mic. And every live stream, something always goes kapoo. <laughs> so we got to use this one. Give me a big yes if you can hear me. How's everyone doing on this Sunday evening? Hope everyone had a good turkey day. Okay, I'm getting loud and clear. Good evening to everyone. Tonight's going to be a little different. Uh, going to talk a little bit about solar. Um, Renergy is uh, sponsoring this live stream, actually. They sent me some equipment. and I've been dealing with Renergy Solar for quite a few years, actually. Uh, I have it on the van. And speaking of the van, the van's going to be turning four years old. And I was just thinking about that a couple weeks ago, that I actually started the build out on that um, December of um, 2019. Um, can you hang on one sec? Sorry. Um, Anyway, uh, 20, uh, 2019 December, and uh, I installed Renergy. Renergy was the first um, solar system I had installed on the van, and it's still on there after four years. And so Renergy reached out to me about this live stream and all that, and I go, why not? Because uh, right here is the system. It's their 400-watt kit. We're going to go through it. Matter of fact, I got some old pictures. Here's what they sent. But here's the original system that went on the van. It's a Renergy 400 watt solar kit. And that was their Eclipse one. It was uh, probably one of the best. And there's the 3000 watt inverter with two Renergy batteries. This is the van build in the van cave. <laughs> which a lot of you people have seen it. If not, there's a playlist of the entire build. There's another shot of the 3000 watt inverter, which we're gonna look at a new 3000 watt inverter. There's the 40 amp controller that went in the van and it's still in there working. Unbelievable, huh? It's still working after all these years. And there's another look. Also up top, I installed the solar panels. I hand built the frame on top of the van. This is a Mercedes Sprinter, 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. There's the rack. I sized it. It can fit exactly four Renergy panels, 400 watts, right there. And that's what it looked like when it was done. Four years, and they're still producing power. The one thing I did get rid of was the AGM batteries. I did upgrade to lithium, which is a different brand, but probably going to be switching back to Renergy. Anyway, uh, a little bit about that. But isn't it something? Four years have passed already. Can't believe it. Okay, I'm getting a few questions, and I will do a Q&A when we get towards the end of this. Also, any of the products that we're describe, um, talking about, down in the description, there's already links for it. You can uh, tap the link. Also, Renergy is offering Black Friday deals. They're going to be going. Plus, on this live stream, if you use a code RV or TV, you get an extra 5% if you want to buy it. Even if you don't buy right now, keep this in under your hat because Renergy is probably one of the top brands around. They've been around. They know it. They're extremely well built. Now, I'll go through a few of these pieces they sent because I'm impressed even. I, I It's been a few years since I've seen their new stuff, and it's uh, pretty good. And I want to do a big shout-out to Guy Martin, Clark Hall, Boondocker, Boondocking with Boomer. Hey, up in Canada, exploring Canada. Good evening, Karen, all you guys. Brian Kale. Kevin's in the house, Bob Leak, Leach, sorry if I mispronounce it, Ron, uh, 
let's see. Someone had a really good question here I'm going to answer in just a little bit. Kenneth Bates, what's the best solar generator for prepping for grid down situations in California? You're going to see it right here with Renergy. And it's just not a little hand-carried solar battery. I mean, this is the real deal, and it's very affordable. Once again, click the links down in the description uh, when we're talking about this stuff because uh, we're going to go through. Probably the first one to start, and this is what, what I started with on the van, was their 400-watt solar kit. And basically what you get is these panels right here. You're going to get four of them. With all the wiring, see, this is why I wanted the wireless mic. <laughs> live stream, I swear to goodness, every time I live stream, uh, something doesn't go right. Anyway, it, it'll come with all the cables, all the brackets, pre-drilled holes in the panels for easy mounting. It also comes the kit. You're also going to receive the rover. 400 amp or 40 amp controller which the way solar works uh, this isn't a total school on solar night but the panels absorb the sunlight produces the energy through the cells it sends it down through the controller which it converts the 12 volt actually it's 20 volt 21 volt something like that all the panels down into 12 volt which charges a battery the battery will power the inverter, and then you produce power 110. We'll get in a little bit. I actually have this set up for us tonight. This is something else. But anyway, the kit, I can't highly recommend it. Now. They're so well built. Uh, on the van, four years, and I've driven through 50, 60, 80 mile an hour winds. It's gone through hail, storms, all of it. And they're still holding up very well. Plus with this, so if you go to... Their website, the Black Friday deal, it's $569 for the entire kit, including the controller and everything you see. So you can't go wrong. The kit I got four years ago was over a thousand dollars. And the prices have come down. So and once again, it's worked four years. So very impressed with the Renergy Solar Kit. So Kenneth, this is something according to your question okay i want to do it off off grid you know i want to produce power for my home emergency situations maybe your garage shop rv there's the real deal is putting up hard mount panels with a controller hardwiring it into a battery system and that's a permanent powerhouse right there for you and you'll be producing power in your home in any kind of off-grid situation because you're also in your question kenneth you said appliances heck yeah you can run appliances uh they're even getting up to the size of the batteries we'll get into this one here in a minute they're 400 amp hour this thing is a beast <laughs> weighs 118 pounds and uh, i think it's almost 500k or 5k i have to look at the specs here but that thing will power an air conditioner if you have enough solar driving it too from top. So once again, Renergy, they've really done a sweet job. Okay, another big shout out to Big Duke X. How you doing? Camping with radios. Good evening. They're down in Texas. Clark Hall's in the house. And Kenneth, hello. And thank you for that great question too about off-grid Okay, so if you have questions, uh, leave them for the end, but uh, about the kit, once again, it's, and actually I have two Renergy panels, even on my new Mar motorhome, which is sitting outside, uh, still covering the um, house batteries. There's nothing else really hooked to it, but it still keeps those maintained. Next thing on the list, and this is something they sent me that I don't have in the van, but I'm going to put this guy in there. Here is a DC to DC charger. It's a 50 amp. You can make the engine of your van motorhome into its own little generator. You can actually drive the from the alternator 
the current, clear back to your house batteries and charge them. This thing will sense it, keep it controlled. It'll put power back to the house batteries when they need it. And it just mounts right in. You wire it right in. I have a wire on my van already run back from the alternator, but it's not hooked up. But I need this guy right here. And so once again, if you're in the off-grid, say, you know, you don't get solar all the time. You get cloudy days, rainy days. Uh, you can run the engine on the van. If you need to top off the batteries for any reason, right there, that, that guy will do it for you. I know I was talking to Stan uh, Saznak. He needs one of these. He was camping up in Colorado. Batteries getting low. I said, hey, you got, got the batteries hooked up to your engine? He goes, nope. Nope. So, uh, anyway, once again, and also if you go down in the descriptions, they got their Black Friday going for $279. And also it's going to include their Core 1 this digital display, oh, sorry, the glare is getting it. This will cover anything Bluetooth. They got Bluetooth modules that'll plug into each component. Renergy's already wired form set up. They're called B2 modules. Through Bluetooth, you can hook all your components to the core. You can monitor this uh, through your phone on an app. Smart app right there, anywhere in the world. I mean, as long as you have Wi-Fi connected. So you can really dial in your system, keep track of it, control it, make sure your battery's up and running. And what's that good for? Say like you're working remote, but you're on a job site and it's getting cloudy out and you want to make sure your batteries are charged. You know, you can check it. You can always check what's going on. Make sure your system's up and running because power is important, isn't it? You're on the road, RVing. You know, quartzite coming up. And some of this stuff, uh, we're going to be having it down in quartzite, too. Going to be bringing it down. Okay, so there's your DC to DC charger, your kit. Probably the next thing that I've been so impressed with, and I could barely lift it, I'd get help, is this Renergy. 400 amp hour battery. This thing is, has a self heater in it, auto heat. It'll heat itself. You know, one thing about lithiums, uh, in cold weather, they don't want to heat. So they install heaters in them to keep the core and all that warm. And actually, Renergy, I've put up this movie. I want you to watch this a second. Because this is their uh, little movie off of video off their YouTube channel of the kind of test that they put this battery through. And watch this. Oh no, it's not coming up. Well, we're live. Let me look a second. Live streaming, it never ends. <laughs> okay, I'll bring it up here in just a little bit. Sorry about that. They tested this with dry ice. They packed it in dry ice. They put it, they set it on fire. They rolled it down a mountain. <laughs> in a minute video, if you go to their uh, YouTube channel, that video is on there of the kind of test. This thing's bulletproof. It's uh, real solid on the outside. It's uh, metal. It's got all the digital controls on it. Huge Anderson cable. Right now, they have this on sale with their Black Friday, if you go down description, for $1649.99. Now, this battery is 400 amp hours, right? 
this battery here is 100 amp hours. Well, this one's on sale for about five something. Four of these equals that. <laughs> Do the math. That's not a bad deal. Now, Kenneth, going back to your home, if you had a solar kit with a big old horse battery like that, you could be powering every appliance in your home. So once again, for off-grid, doesn't have to be RV or van, you can get into your home, garage, backup power, charge your Tesla, you name it, it's going to happen. Um, also, if you have a good inverter, we'll get an inverter here in just a minute. But uh, this 400 amp hour LiPo battery, it's uh, 5.12 watt hours, ultra high capacity, which it is. Self-heating for safer charging, low temps, um, 60 plus BMS, uh, battery management system protection protocols, which means uh, it keeps the cells balanced. It really dials it in. It's an expensive battery. You want it to perform perfectly for you. Bluetooth monitoring, you could use it with the core, this thing right here. So once again, it's all dialed in for you. You can't beat it. It is heavy, though. That is one heavy battery. Um, I was kind of surprised how heavy it was till I unboxed it. <laughs> but it still worked good. Let's roll over here to the comments a minute. Oh, here's a good question. Big Duke X, how efficient does your Renergy gear charge the e-bike? I mean, it's just like plugging it into a wall outlet. It's that powerful that powerful uh once again when you're drawing the energy from hard mount solar panels into a good inverter and storing it in really good quality batteries it's the same as plugging it into a wall outlet uh so as fast as a char uh, your e-bike would charge in a house current it'll easily charge on a solar system especially with your energy Okay. Brian Kale says, air conditioning is off the list unless you've got $10,000. Um, depends, uh, Brian. Um, the big, yeah, heat pump systems, you're going to need some really big battery banks and solar systems. Many splits. Many. Sp I have one right here in my little studio, which this is a tough shed I converted into a little studio. It's a tiny little 9,000 BTU mini split. I power this off solar. Half this building right now is running off solar, off panels and storage batteries. So you can easily power mini splits, get you by. Uh, I know some guys that are building uh, cabins, they're going all mini split on, and they're totally off grid. Uh, you put enough battery in there and some solar, you can easily have heat. Not only air conditioning, these mini splits can produce heat as well. So it's getting a lot more uh, efficient. But yes, you're right. No, a big um, air conditioning unit. Yeah, you're going to really have uh, problems there. Okay, I want to say hi to Roy Robbins. Good evening. Catfish fever and outdoors. I go, hey. Big Duke X says thanks. Yeah, e-bikes are high in the list now for charging. Uh, and even the batteries in the e-bikes are getting better and better. You know, just like Renergy's are getting better and better uh, through time, through energy. You know, Renergy is a massive company. I was to their facility in Ontario over in California, oh, goodness, four years ago when I started the van building. So, and that was impressive then. Okay, moving on. <coughs> Okay, here right here is their 100 watt. You know what I can do? I can zoom you in a little bit. This is their uh, 100 amp hour lithium. It's got the same auto self-heating uh, system inside the battery here. This is the Renergy one, uh, 100 amp hour. It's got electronic controls. You can even plug in the Bluetooth module, which it'll plug in. This core can handle up to um, several different Renergy products here. It can do the inverter, 
batteries, panels, controllers, all of it. And they even make a hub. I don't have the hub here, but you can hook up moldable to the core. We've got 198 people watching. Good evening to you all. <clears throat> and what I did, I went ahead and I hooked up. This is their Renergy inverter. This is a 3,000 watt inverter. Now in the van, I have a 3,000 watt. Why does it, why does it look so different? Okay, that's a 3,000 watt. That's a three. This is also has a battery charger in it. This will also charge the house batteries plus inverter. It's all in one unit. Perfect. This is going to go in the van. <laughs> I'm going to replace my old unit with this one. I already have it wired. It's already hooked up. I have it running on shore power right here. Just plugged into electric. You have to have something driving it. This would equal a solar panel coming in, anything. But right now it's hooked to shore. The out is right here. We can go ahead and turn it on. Let it power up. It takes a minute. Digital display on it. This inverter and charger, 3000 watt, pure sign, pure wave, charger inverter with LCD display with the Black Friday and all their discounts is 549. Also, don't forget to use that uh, RV or TV discount code. Okay, we're all powered up. Bingo, there's your light. So, we're creating energy. Right off this battery, through the inverter, also, this inverter can charge the batteries, your home batteries, as well. It also comes with this. Uh, can we see it? Let me zoom in a little bit. Has a monitoring screen. Gives your voltage. So, like on the back of my van, I have... Uh, voltmeter like this monitoring screen and also what the inverter comes with up here too is a remote start switch with has about a 10 15 foot cord so you can mount it in a wall somewhere you don't have to reach around and turn the inverter on all the time once again Renergy energy really thought this stuff out pretty good Okay, good evening, Forgotten America, Roy Robbins. Randy G's in the house. Randy Chrisman. So what started all this? You know, the, uh, like I was saying earlier, if you're just tuning in, if you're late here, uh, getting in on the stream, the van's turning four years old. The van has had Renergy solar system on it for four years. It was part of the original build. And right there is the original kit from Renergy. That's four years ago in the van cave. There's the Renergy uh, batteries, 3,000 watt inverter. All of it and been working for four years years it's produced so much power it's run refrigerators it ran my small portable air conditioner heaters appliances electric skillets you name it it's run a lot okay i'm just checking make sure you put questions over here. I'll try to get to them here in just shortly. Tim wrote, I built my own uh, 280 amp hour cells, 560 amp hour with BMS. Cost me 1500 bucks. That's one heck of a battery, sir. Yeah, that's good. Yes, you can. If you don't want to do that, right here is the beast. <laughs> that thing right there is just a 
cat's meow. It, this will really provide power, and especially in an off-grid. Not only RV, motorhome, you put a kit up on your roof, 400 watt, big batteries like this, nice inverter charger with good solar panels. I mean, you could charge your Tesla. You can do a lot, especially in an off-grid power outage situation you know the wildfires now we're getting into winter time you know the ice storms people uh, back east and they say well solar is minimal in the winter it is somewhat but even with a good battery system you could have a backup generator just to top off the batteries if the, it's cloudy or you know th there's so many different scenarios that you could do in this and I'm a firm believer in it. Uh, right now, the Tough Shed, uh, next will be the Connex. Uh, I'm a firm believer in having solar and off-grid, off-the-grid type power. You betcha. Okay, I'm checking for questions. Be sure to throw a question. If you got anything solar, throw it over here. I'll be happy to answer it. Okay, next on the list is the inverter itself. With the size of it, you can hear the fan. It's not that loud at all. It's cool in itself. It's it's going in my van. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to replace the old inverter, and this thing's going to go right in there right now. Because I don't have a charger like that. And I'll do a video on the install for that, too. Another thing that Renergy has... If you don't want the big hard mount panels they got an excellent line of uh, portable panels these fold out this is a 200 amp here or 200 watt excuse me panel folds out i'm gonna set down the mic a second a second but it's got uh fold out legs in there yeah. See, I need that wireless mic. <laughs> Going live, you never never know. Always a problem. It has the fold-out legs. The wires for it are in here. This folds out. It also has the grommets up here. You can hang it uh, from a tree. You can hang it off the side of the RV, off an awning. I've seen uh, some people just hang it off, off of uh, tree branches, anywhere they can. Tie it down with a rope. It was a super windy day. You can really uh, these things uh, really take a beating, and they really produce power. Plus, what's nice about a portable panel is you can move it. You can angle it for the sun. So as the sun's moving over during the day, guess what? You can move the panel with it and keep the maximum amount of power coming back. Because during the day is perfect. You can normally run a lot of small appliances just off your. The power you're producing off the panels and your batteries are maintained full it's in the evenings when the sun goes down that hey no more power so that's where these big energy batteries come into play but i'm really happy oh i better do the price okay uh 200 watt portable solar panel with their black friday specials is 186.99 so let's go through this here. There's the inverter, 549. Here's the DC to DC uh, onboard battery charger that pulls juice for, straight from your engine. Charge up the batteries, that's 279. Also, you get the one core with it. There's a 186 for the Renergy uh, fold-out solar panel. There's a solar kit, which is a screaming deal. I paid a lot more than that. 
but they got it right now, 516. And that includes the four panels, all the brackets, the controller, Bluetooth module, everything. There's your 100 amp hour, 12 volt smart battery, 599, and then 1649 for the big beast, <laughs> 400 amp hour, all in one battery, and that thing is a beast. So I, I'm not trying to make this a big commercial or anything like that, but what I'm really trying to uh, because this is a number one question I get is solar. If it's not about what kind of Wi-Fi I use, which is Starlink, which we're running on right now, you know, it's about solar. And I get a ton of it because I'm in the van. The van's powered. I can sit in a parking lot, power up everything, and edit video and whatnot. You don't have to be plugged in. But going back to Brian's point, you know, on air conditioning, not all solar systems will handle an air conditioner, but they will handle a smaller one like mini splits and whatnot. So all kind of different. Okay, if you got any questions, throw them on over here. We've got a 203 people watching live. Sure appreciate it. Uh, how's your... Uh, weekend going hey guess who's in the house hobo tech my good buddy tom now you if you want to know solar and anything solar and also he's a fan of energy uh it's tom at homo tech be sure to check out his channel he's a good friend also we're going to be doing uh, some live streaming and whatnot with solar products down in quartzite we're going to explore a lot down there this winter should be fun. Uh, Tom's a good friend. Uh, very detailed solar expert right there. I hope you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend, Tom. I bet you've been busy with the Black Friday stuff, too. Okay, and uh, what was it, Brian? Kenneth, I hope that answered your question as well. You know, another thing I do with solar, um, not only the e-bikes, computers, CPAP machines, uh, an inverter like this, the entire thing is pure sign. It's a very clean constant flow of electric and it protects medical equipment so you're going to see a lot of this kind of thing in ambulances CPAP machines for medical so if you need medical equipment with you in your RV perfect especially your energy batteries you know you're buying quality we can we're definitely buying quality Tom writes hey, hey Russ yeah it's been quite busy we can do some live streams in queue. You bet we will. We sit around a campfire. If you get down to Quartzsite, if you don't know what Quartzsite is, it's probably the one of the largest wintertime outdoor markets in the country for sure. Maybe even, even in the world. About every snowbird, RVer, outdoorsman, they come in tents, cars, RVs, you name it, school buses, camp in the desert for two to three months every winter. And Quartzite's like the hub of it. Quartzite's a small town of about 3,000 and explodes into uh, almost a million people. They have big RV shows, solar events, all of it. And Tom is uh, uh, a big part of it down there. And you talk about solar and energy and panels and batteries and everything. Quartzite sit because now with the boom of solar in the last 10 years, people don't stay in RV parks anymore. They spread out. They're in the desert now. You know why? Because they can power up. They can watch a TV, have their internet, the refrigerators running. Every day they're getting free energy from the sky. And uh, so when you're 
doing that kind of leaven boondocking is what a lot of people call it um it's it's very solar friendly there's also quite a few solar installers down there so if this is something if you didn't want to put up your own kit and install your own battery there's a lot of people out there a lot of installers that'll do it for you also go to uh, renergy's website they got a whole team of people you can ask questions uh they'll have engineers get back with you you know they're the real deal they got pretty good customer service so uh, yeah definitely check out renergy's website which all that's down in the description here uh in the videos also the rvr tv link oh i got a question what's the mug these are the new rvr tv mugs <laughs> 11 ounce go to rvr TV TV. got a bunch of new merch coming out christmas time's coming up you never know you can put a mug in the stocking and a renergy battery underneath the tree so wrap up a solar kit <laughs> We got Bob the Traveler in the house, says hello from Base Camp, Ohio. Plan to be on Quartzsite this December. So I, I'm curious, out of everyone in here, how many are using solar now? You know, put that over there. Give me a yes or a thumbs up or something if you're using solar now. And what are you using? You know, a lot of people use the portable uh, generators. Nothing wrong with it. But if you want to get into something bigger, and also Renergy has... They got more products than this. This they have the big uh, solar generators, the small ones, charge your e-bike. They got all accessories. I think they even have a door alarm or something. I think I seen that on one of uh, Hobotech's videos. Because Tom, I was watching quite a few of your Renergy videos, getting ready for this stream. <laughs> you were my teacher. Okay, here's. Glenette uh, said she bought a Blue Eddy, just received it last week. Other people are using, uh, here's one from Harbor Freight. Yeah, uh, there's all different kinds. And But if you really want the quality, and I can only go back to what I've experienced with Rare Energy with the van. Four years, and I mean, I abuse that system. I work it hard cooking and all that i don't eat out in the van i'm always using appliances and that renergy 3000 inverter in the van has been a workhorse and i think tom uses one hobotech in his shop those 3000 watt inverters are just a beefy workhorse inverter even the renergy agm batteries when i had them in there uh, that's when during the original build and at the time, lithiums were so expensive, you couldn't even dream of it, which now the price has come down because the demand is there. But uh, those AGMs were a workhorse, too. They worked very well. I had 400 amp hours of Renergy AGM batteries in there, which I'm debating. I might be putting that big one in there. I don't know yet. But definitely I'm going to put in this Renergy DC to DC 50 amp charger and also this 3000 watt inverter charger is definitely going to go in the van like this week because <laughs> i need it especially with quartzite coming up uh, i'm going to be in the desert a lot and uh, it's always good to have plenty of power Hobotech Tom said, I just bought that new compact 2000 watt Renergy inverter for my RV. Yeah, see, and that's perfect. 2000 watt, you know, 3000 is a lot. But I'm living in that van and I like to have plenty. <laughs> like an electric skillet, a hairdryer, you know, you plug in a hairdryer, that thing's going to pull a ton of juice. And like 1500 watts, uh, you turn on a microwave. 700 watts up to 1500 watts i mean it pulls hard it doesn't run that long but you're still pulling hard also most of these inverters and all that have a peak on them so if it's rated 3000 you can peak at 5000 7000 whatever it'll handle it without popping off so uh yeah that 2000 probably be perfect uh tom just got him a class c 
which is similar to the van like I have, which is good. Yep, Big Duke, he's on solar. John G, he goes, hey, Russ, been watching your for a while. I only use Renergy for all my power banks. You always know they are quality. Yeah, John, you know, and um, same, uh, that, that's my same belief, you know, and I was still shocked. Four years. I can't believe the van is four years old. <laughs> My goodness. Where did all the time go? But, um, yeah. Kevin says, 100 watt for my truck camper batteries and 200 watt for my Delta II. Yeah. See, you match your power, you know, what your needs, you know, your battery size. Uh, if you have a small truck camper, you're probably not using big appliances, maybe small ones like a fan, small fridge, 12 volt fridge. Cause you can not only run 110, you can run 12 volt off this stuff. It is a 12 volt system. Also, uh, a lot of these systems now in Renergy has them, they go 24 volt and 48 volt, which that's where you get into the larger off grid system. <coughs> Tom Hobotech wrote, I couldn't fit the 3,000 watt under the seat. <laughs> That's why you got the 2,000. I also didn't want the high, higher background power use. Yeah, no, they do. Now, that's a good point, Tom. Uh, these do draw power. Even though they're shut off, there's a background. They will pull on the battery. But if you have enough batteries, I guess it don't matter. And also, like refrigerators and all that, Renergy has a... Uh, 12 volt fridge. I just seen it on their website. They're, they have a flexible uh, solar panel. Uh, once again, click the links, get over on their website. Also, if you're interested in buying any of this stuff, uh, use the RV or TV discount code, which is RV or TV. So, how many over here are going to be going to Quartzsite this year? I want to show a hands or heck yeah. <laughs> Big drink tea. I have a 4170 amp hour Renergy. They quit selling it in the States. Yeah, they, they come out with different models. They modify them, but there's another Renergy user. Dennis is in the house. Says he has uh, solar panels and 3,000 watt inverter and controller. And they're all Renergy. Our second system of Renergy MPPT controller and three Renergy suitcases with four 100 amp hour batteries. See, uh, now that's a powerhouse. He can power up pretty much every appliance he has. I'm, I'm assuming that's probably in his uh, RV. But even in your home, in a power outage, uh, you see it all the time. These people, are, uh, they buy generators and they run out of fuel. Well, the sun is up every day. And in a power outage, I've seen these things go on for weeks if you're very remote. You can power. I run my Starlink off the Renergy solar panels and uh, inverter in the van every day I'm on the road in the van. They're powered up. The Starlink draws about 30, 30, 40 watts, something like that. But it's a constant draw, like Tom was saying. You can't turn it off. You know, it won't, you, you'll lose your internet if you shut it down. But, um, Here's Clark's expiration, 200 watts, solar freight. Hey, we got CB Traveler in the house. How's that? CB, he's a solar battery guy. He travels around in his pickup truck. He's actually a Quartzsite local. You'll be meeting him this winter down in Quartzsite. 
Okay, Guy Martin says, maybe on Quartzsite. Well, I hope you do, and uh, because there will be a lot of solar down there for sure, and maybe more discussions on the Renergy. And you can actually see the van. You're more than welcome to come around where I'm at, see the van, see the panels. This inverter will be in there, this charger. And I'm really excited about this, too, the charger. Because that makes your engine like a generator. You don't need to haul a generator anymore. No more gas cans. Between your panels, the engine of your vehicle, you can keep those batteries charged up. And if you get in a tough situation, if you took your portable, foldable panels here, if the roof mounts are in the shade, parked under a tree, stretch these out. And I know Tom Hobotech does that down in uh, Quartzsite. He'll lay panels all over the place and move them with the sun. You'll keep your batteries charged up as well. Rory Rob says, I'm running 1,500 watts of Renergy on my RV roof. Wow. Also have the 200-watt portables, like the one I, uh, here. So Roy is running 1,500 watts. That's 15 100-watt panels on his roof and two of these guys. Now, he can power up whatever he wants. <laughs> go to Roy's place. <laughs> if you need to charge your phone, go over to see Roy. No, I'm teasing, but that is a nice system, Roy. And it's all Renergy. Once again, you're buying the quality. Uh, and doesn't mean other companies aren't quality. It means Renergy is just a little step up. And I can say that because I've been their customer for over four years. <clears throat> Andrea asks, could I recommend a decent heater? Uh to run on solar, uh, I have a diesel heater in the van that pulls off the diesel tank. Uh, a heater on the solar would be uh, pushing it pretty good. You'd need a pretty good uh, battery bank. So what I use in my van is a diesel heater. Guy Martin says, I have a 20 amp Renergy charge controller. And that's perfect. A 20 amp will easily charge any battery. You put a 100 watt panel on there and you'll always have power for your phone, laptop, you name it. And depends what kind of battery. I mean, if you want to get into the lithiums, these nice ones, a lot of people are still using AGM batteries. Nothing wrong with that. But that thing, that beast over there, that, that is probably the best deal I've seen ever on a 400 amp hour battery. I mean, that thing there equals four of these. <clears throat> Just the size of the plug, that Anderson plug on it. I wish I could have played that video of that thing rolling down. I don't know what happened to that video. So, oh well. But it's on Renergy website. You know, they got a good YouTube channel. They review all their products. They have technical reviews, installation videos, all of it over on Renergy. <coughs> Let's go through here and do a few shout outs real quick. Lloyd Baker, good evening to you. Shelly Russick is in the house. Teresa Davis, good evening. She goes, big shout out from the family in Florida. <coughs> the Davises are down there in Florida enjoying the Probably warm weather. Patricia Jackson. Love what you're doing. Guy Martin writes, I like all the new equipment coming out. The first impression will be for the battery that I can tolerate on a cold night. <laughs> That's it. And they're getting more and more powerful and bigger. And the team at Renergy, I mean, they're on it. They got the engineers. Uh, that's a big company and it takes big engineer, uh, big companies with the engineers and all that to develop this stuff. Yeah. The solar cells are coming out be better. All of it. 
Tom wrote, yeah, the Hobotech, yeah, that alarm kit is part of the Renergy One system. Which they didn't send me that tone. Bob, the travelers in the house, Clark's exploration. John Wirt is in Pilot, Virginia. Love the videos. Badge is in the house. He's a real handyman. Badge knows solar. He's probably dealt with Renergy. You know, there's several down in, I keep bringing up Quartzite because it's right here. I mean, it's uh, snowbird time. We're almost into December, which starts the massive migration of everyone down here with their solar panels to the desert. And uh, you're going to see just a ton of it. Topher says, I'm from Fairfield, Illinois. Good evening. Youper Jim from the Great White North. I hope I answered that question better about the heater, diesel. You know, that's what I use in the van. But if you have any questions about this, and once again, be sure to check the description, the links. It'll take you right over to Renergy's uh, website. You know, Black Friday, it's good deals. Uh, always a little bit of a part of uh, Black Friday between the e-bikes and uh, solar. And I was so happy and blessed this time for Renergy to reach out to me and uh, ask me to do this live stream. I said, heck yeah. Cause, and it's, once again, four years for the van. I go, wow can't be i said there's gotta be three and i'm counting them on my hand i go one two three four starting next month four years old you know um uh, the build on the van when i was doing the build here that took me almost three and a half months that started in january of 2020 and i never finished it till april of 2020 when i doing the uh build because it was, I did it by myself, and it was one screw at a time, one cut, very custom, very custom fit. Even there where I was mounting the panels up on the roof, the Renergy 100-watt uh, panels, there's four of them I have on the roof of my van, uh, that took days. I had to go ha have the metal can cut. And, I mean, it was just a, a lot of backyard engineering on my part to make it fit exactly. Because I didn't want the panels hanging over the edge. And there's, once again, the Renergy AGMs. But that's what you're going to see right there if you go to their website. 12 volt. Inverter charger. DC to DC onboard battery. Solar kits. I still can't believe the low price on that. That's half of what I paid four years ago and the smart the smart batteries the lithiums they are just getting better and better and better badge right stick with renergy russ awesome company they are badge i mean uh you can't go wrong you know it's you kind of it's what you get what you pay for you know and uh so um Renergy, and they've been around a long time. When I went to their facility in Ontario, uh, California, which is like Inland Empire area, it was a huge facility back then. That was four years. Exploring Canada, she goes, uh, Russ, four years with the same solar system is a real testament of how high quality they are. Yeah. I mean, that van bounces down the road. I mean, it's not like they're just stuck on a roof somewhere. That thing goes all over the place. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a huge testament how well built all that stuff is. T.J. Burns is in the house. 
big drink tea says my setup is also four years old my batteries are on their 228th charge cycle and speaking of charge cycles most of these are rated for 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 charge cycles. You know, uh, it it's a 10-year battery at least. If you're pounding on it every day, pulling them down, I mean, uh, these things, will they're, they'll really take a beating. They really will. Ryan writes, uh, seems like the only two major companies are Renergy and uh, Victron. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, when you get into the real engineering of this stuff, because a lot of the companies are knockoffs, but the real engineering, the real quality, and the warranty and the engineering to back it up. See, and that once again, you're back into the energy. Andre, can I do a road trip to Canada? You know, it's on the list. So is Alaska. You know, Alaska, now there it gets dark for six months. <laughs> So solar might not be, it would be in the summer, work very well. Badge would know up there, hey, Badge, how's solar work up in Canada? Or you, you just smart and you turn the key and come south, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's why quartzite's so big and all this. Uh, probably, I, I don't know, it's just my opinion. Uh, RVN in general has changed so much in the last 10 to 15 years because of solar. Even new motorhomes and trailers, they're pre-wired for panels. They already have the cables and the plugs built into it. And a lot of them are like Anderson style plugs. And uh, so they're already pre-built for it. And it's just changed the world of solar and RVing because it makes your RV so much versatile. I mean, before you always in a campground, uh, you're running a generator. You know, you get in a campground where you got 20 people running a generator next to each other. No one's happy because <laughs> all you hear is that and smell the fumes. But with solar, clean energy, no gas can. You're out there with your big batteries, solar panels, solar kits inverters all of it eric adams is in the house good evening paul d is in the house from minnesota good evening Brian writes, uh, one thing I about solar I was not expecting, his solar panels got too hot. Huh. Were they Renergy panels? That can happen, though. I mean, you can overheat anything. Badge writes, in Canada, in the summer, yep, we get 50% max. In the winter, nope. You got to visit Russ. So ba that's why right, Badge... He can't get solar in Canada. He comes down to quartzite. <laughs> Love it. And bring your energy system, too. Well, this has been fun. Um, I'm glad you guys tuned in, and thanks for uh, joining here tonight. Um, I really had to do this because Renergy has been a good partner. The van is turning four years. Um, I'm going to be upgrading and always looking for you know sponsors for the channel and whatnot so uh definitely i want to give a big shout out and thank you to renergy for reaching out sending equipment and also offering all the discounts so um in closing make sure you check all the description uh, all the links in the description down below use the discount code rv or tv and uh We'll go from there. Coming up on RV or TV, there'll be a uh, new once in a lifetime video. That one's going to be Washington State, the islands of Washington State. I'm going back down to Quartzsite this coming week. I'm taking a buggy down there, so I'll be doing a little video. If you're down around Quartzsite later this week, 
stop by the game store. I'm going to be there for about two to three days. The following week, RVR TV is going to be live streaming the Christmas parade down in Quartzsite. And we're going to be Renergy powered. So once again, everyone, thank you for tuning in tonight. Wish you a happy Thanksgiving weekend end. I hope it's over and got lots of leftovers. So everyone, good night. Thank you.